Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, it's Merchant Day, it's week 80. It's getting close to Christmas and everyone here is waiting and while we are waiting let's go and take a closer look at the community. Yes, and here we have it. The Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson, week 80. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, check the reactions first. Someone is happy, maybe, I think. Do we see... I think we saw something about Narval. Uh, Rod is back. Oh, could it be the Cephalo Rod? Uh, okay, let's go check it out. Oh! Okay, so it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of things going on here. Uh, so we have the sunburst. The power of the sun in my hands does 500 AOE damage. Damage 1500. Specialty 1, double loot and double experience. Specialty 2, splash damage on nearby creatures. We have the cephalo rod with Midas boost of 0.001%. Baby and huge chance plus 50%. Rarity chance 38%. Reeling speed 17%. We have the penguin boat with a maximum health of 1100 and a top speed of 250. It also has a specialty of uh, reeling speed plus 50. And we have the narwhal with a maximum health of 1000 and a top speed of 225. And then we have the cybernetics glider with a backpack space of 1000 with a specialty that you can glide if you double tap space. And we have baits, we have four baits, we have the genie bottle bait, guaranteed to catch a fish variant that you might not already have caught, and uh, very small chance to catch the Midas mutation fish, price 300 charge. We have the rare candy, which gives a chance to catch a unique pool of fish, only works as monsters burrow, price 25 charge. We have the cowboy hat, uh, which uh, has a chance to catch an exotic fish sheaf, plus 3% reeling speed with a price of 50 charge. We have the 10 thousand dollar bills which gives a chance to catch an exotic spy fish plus three percent rod strength with a price of 50 charge and then we have the millionth dollar which has a chance to catch an exotic old blue lip and has a chance to double the sell price of any fish that you catch uh, 75 charge so that was a lot that was 10 items <laughs> that's pretty crazy all right Okay, so let's start. That was actually a lot of items. So I think we're gonna start off with... Uh, actually, I'm wearing the most items already because all these items are very, very good. Uh, but we're gonna start with the sunburst because it's night time and I want to check for trails and things like that. Uh, so yes, here is the sunburst. I'm gonna go into the free camera. So it looks like this. This is just one of my favorite spears of all time, basically. It's a fantastic model, beautiful, and it's also very powerful. With a price of 500 charge, it's of course very expensive, but it has a damage of 1500 with two specialties. One of them is double loot and double experience, and the second specialty is 500 damage on nearby sea creatures. So that's like a splash damage. And also worth to know, it's up to 500 splash damage, so it doesn't mean that it always do 500 damage. And that damage is also divided among all the targets that is affected by this splash damage. Uh, but we're gonna throw the spear into the air just to check for the trail. And as you can see, very easy to spot and track this spear, which is just Fantastic. It's a great feature, easy to see and compensate when you throw on great distances to see uh, where you actually land the spear. This is great. And you can also already see here in the dark that it does emit light, but we're gonna run over here where it, where it is really dark. And as you can see, this spear, comparing it, if I unequip it, yeah, 
no doubt this one is uh, it's really cool it's really good it's uh, definitely my favorite spear as i said i can also actually add one more thing before we go on to the next item is that uh, the only downside with spears is that you cannot hurt the armored sharks over in timeless tides so this spear is extremely good in this first ocean but over at timeless tides this spear has a little bit of problems when it comes to these armored sharks and that's the i would say the only downside with it and as for double loot, this is also a great thing to have because it does really help, especially when you try to get a movie wood key or something like that. And as for value of items when you need to sell after you do hunting, uh, getting double loot is just crazy good because you will basically you will never have a problem with money again if you <laughs> have double loot. And as for double experience, you will not get double experience from any AOE damage that you do. You only get the double experience from the actual target that you hit with the spear. So that's also good to know. And also the same thing is regarding the double loot. So if you happen to kill something with that AOE damage, you will not get twice the loot from that target that was killed by that AOE damage. So it only works basically on the target that you try to kill. And moving on to the next item, we're gonna go with the backpack because I already have it on my back. So this is the cybernetics glider. We're gonna go into the free camera. This is a very, very useful item, I must say. And one of few backpacks that actually has a separate purpose since you can use it to glide with it. As you saw earlier when I went into this dark area, it doesn't have any neon textures and it doesn't glow, but it doesn't really matter because this backpack is still awesome. It has also a pretty hefty price of 475 charge, but with a capacity of 1000, it's still the best backpack that you can get in the game. And as for gliding, this is just a fantastic and useful feature. It also makes you move faster around on the different islands because it's faster to glide than run. Uh, but as for gliding, if you double tap the jump, you extend the wings basically. And uh, from here you will always descend. You cannot fly upwards. Uh, the only thing that you can do in this position, uh, you either just uh, jump and then uh, you will fall down. Or you keep gliding until you hit the ground. But you can also descend faster. You have a button down in the corner. Q button on PC. That makes you dive basically. So it's easy to basically land on specific locations. Such as treasure chest locations when they spawn. So this one is very very useful to run and rush for chests. But uh, yes, that's the cybernetics glider. Alright. And then it's time for the rod, the cephalo rod. This one, we're gonna go into the free camera. And this is a crazy rod. It's basically the best rod in the game. And you can actually buy it, which is uh, pretty amazing actually. It does have, however, the most expensive price in the game of 850 charge. So really, really expensive. But at the same time, it's uh, the best rod and it will definitely help you in terms of fishing and getting fishes for your index rewards for each zone. So it has a 0.001% chance of catching a Midas mutation and uh, this is, uh, well it's the only way except for using the transmutation token as a bait to be able to catch actually such mutations. So a really unique feature with this rod, definitely. It also have 50% baby and huge chance which is also a great feature. It's uh, basically the same as the key to the city which is an index reward here from Port Jackson uh, but it's built into this rod as well which is just awesome very useful because when you fish for index fishes to get index items uh, usually I would say majority of the time the last fishes and the hardest ones uh, that is to get is the one with the highest rarity and also it's gonna be probably a baby or a huge fish uh, so this helps a lot when it comes to that and speaking of that rarity also it does have plus 38 percent rarity chance so that's the highest rarity on a rod that you can get together with all the other stats which is just crazy good and then it also has it doesn't end <laughs> it has 17 percent also in reeling 
speed so it's pretty fast also when you try to fish with it so really good road it's not game breaking uh, not at all but uh, it does really help you i've used it and i can really say that it's a good road all right so that was the cephalo rod okay so we're gonna continue with the two boats we're gonna start with the narwhal and uh, here it is it has a price of 425 charge it has this maximum health of 1000 and a top speed of 225 so this is a really fast boat we're gonna go into the customization so you can see what you can customize. So you have the eyes. I'm not gonna change the colors because it's pretty obvious which part it actually belongs to. You have the blush, which you can see right here. And the primary color, it's pretty obvious what that is. The tusk is up in the front, of course, and the secondary is down on the belly. And then you can, of course, customize the horn. Uh, but we're gonna try it out, so we're gonna equip it. Looks like this when you spawn it. It has no passenger seats, so it's a one-seater basically. So you're all on your own when you're on this one. But it has a fantastic speed and also a great turning radius. It's very, very narrow and it's very, very quick to just make this 360 turn, which I, I usually like to talk about. It doesn't have any colored lights or anything like that, so it just toggles on and off. Uh, this boat has also been very, very useful when I fight Kraken, because I will not get attacked by sea creatures. Uh, so basically, when I fight Kraken, I don't have to worry about any other fishes uh, that might attack me while I do the Kraken boss, so that's very useful. Same goes for Moby Wood, so um, it's a great feature. However, this boat is not good at all when it comes to hunting, because nothing will attack you unless you provoke it, so keep that in mind. We're gonna try to see, we're gonna test to make this 360 turn, so I'm gonna go up here and make that turn. And see how fast or slow it goes. Well I can say you already. It's going to go pretty fast. So once this arrow points up directly to the north. I'm going to start the timer. And we're going to see how long it takes for us to make this 360 turn. It goes pretty fast. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So yes there you have it. That's the narwhal. And then we have the last item for the. Uh, for today it's gonna be the penguin boat this one so it has a price of 465 charge it has a maximum health of 1100 and a top speed of 250 on top of that it has a specialty with a reeling speed that is up to 50 which is awesome we're gonna go into the customization so you have the blush here on the side uh, the beak, you can easily see where that is. <laughs> you can see the feet. And also, of course, uh, the beak. Great. Uh, I'm going to reset it. It looks better like that. <laughs> Primary color. Really no big surprise, but we're going to put a different color to it, actually. So we can easily see the differences. Monocle string. Pretty cool that you can actually customize that individually. You have the eyes. Pretty obvious what that is. You can put... Uh, <laughs> red eyes is that really something i want to have well for this video yes so gonna go with red eyes top hat band pretty obvious what that is i'm gonna put it as green monocle frame obvious what that is also but we're gonna change the color uh, i'm gonna put uh, put an orange color to it top hat main yeah that's basically the main part of the top hat. You have the light. This means probably that we will have colored lights when we use the boat. I'm gonna put a bright red to it. And the secondary color is, uh, well, it's, uh, I would say, main part of the face and the belly. Uh, but we're gonna change it uh, to something else. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a bad looking combo, but uh, we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna apply this and we're gonna go back and we're gonna equip it and go for a test ride. So here it is, and uh, same as the Narwhal, this one doesn't have any passenger seats, so it's a one-seater. And this one is extremely fast when it comes to moving forward. So this is something that I, I would like to call a dragster. It's extremely fast in a straight line. The turning speed is the downside with this one. Uh, but I do think it has improved a little bit since last year. Uh, I noticed that a while ago when I was testing this one out. Uh, it was really bad in the beginning. And I do think it's slightly better now. 
but it of course would require me to <laughs> watch my old videos and uh, no i'm not gonna do that uh, this is what it looks like today and that's what it really is what matters to me as for the specialty with the reeling speed uh, i'm not sure if you're gonna really notice any difference but we can try it out so we have a sunfish here we can reel it and uh, yeah together with the cephalo rod we can actually reel this fish very fast so this is, uh, well, it's an incredible combo, basically. I can fish really fast, actually, with this combination, as you can see. <laughs> Nothing more to say about that specialty. That really helps, of course, when you try to get as much fish as, as possible. And also work with fish index. Uh, but... Uh, we're also going to test, of course, how long does it take uh, to make this 360 turn. So I'm going to go up here and do the same test as I did with the narwhal. So it's going to be up here. I'm going to just check that I won't get attacked by any orcas. So it looks okay. And I'm going to do the same. Start the timer once the arrow is directly up uh, north. And we're going to go with a full 360 turn. So this one is definitely slower. Absolutely. And there you go. So yes, that's the penguin boat. And as for the conclusions. Well, <laughs> what can I say? This week was pretty crazy. I would say it's... Uh, I think they put like all the most expensive items in one single run. That's crazy. So there is really no cheap options here. Everything will cost you a lot. But in return you will also get something that could be really really good and helpful in the game. So from a fishing perspective and that is also what I'm gonna aim for when I make this conclusion. Uh, it's gonna be the rod, the cephalo rod. But uh, there are so many other good things here. Uh, they are really helpful in specific situations the narwhal is especially useful when it comes to just the quick action uh, when it comes to movie wood very useful at crack and boss since you won't get attacked by other sea creatures and uh, that's is just a very fun boat to drive in general the penguin boat which is that is basically the fastest boat in the game but it is a dragster uh, it's not that entertaining to make uh, <laughs> sharp turns with because you can't really do that and that's the downside with it also uh, the backpack the biggest backpack in the game i mean that is well what can i say it's the be biggest and best backpack in the game and the extra ability to glide is extremely useful. Uh, but uh, much of the things in the game is uh, around the fish index and the fish index rewards. And the backpack won't help you in those situations. Neither won't uh, the boats actually. So that is why I'm choosing this cephalo rod. It's expensive. Absolutely. I fully understand it. <laughs> Not everyone can afford it, of course. Uh, but uh, for this week, Wandering Merchant, week 80, it's going to be this rod. All right, so let's go back again. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. Like this video. If you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator, please subscribe. And yes, have a nice day. Bye, everyone.